Welcome to Traveler's Tales. I am your host, Greg Alonzo. Today I will be your guide through history as we take a look at Queen Arsinoe II, the role model of the Ptolemaic Queens. Before we begin, just a quick reminder that we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with special editions on Thursdays. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Moving right along. Mythology tells us one thing, while archaeology tells us another. Who was Queen Arsinoe II? Which kingdoms did she rule? Was she really proclaimed Pharaoh? Today we will answer these questions as we take a look at this legendary, yet not well-known queen. Arsinoe II was the first daughter of the founder of the Hellenistic state of Egypt, Pharaoh Ptolemy I Soter and his second wife Bernice I of Egypt. She was born in Memphis and raised in the new city of Alexandria, where her father moved his capital. Unfortunately, nothing is known of her childhood or education. However, later in life, she was noted for her learning. Judging from her support as patron of scholars, she is estimated to have been given a high education. Her brothers were tutored by intellectuals, and it is regarded as likely that she also attended these lessons. Throughout her life, she corresponded with such intellectuals as Strato of Lampsacus, and it is generally believed that he was one of her early tutors. Around the age of 15, she was married to King Lysimachus, who was around 60 years old. Together they had three sons, Ptolemy Epigonos, Lysimachus, and Philip. In order to position her sons for the throne, she had the king's first son charged with treason and poison. In 281 before the Common Era, Lysimachus died in battle and Arsinoe fled to Cassandrea. She then married her half-brother. This was a political marriage as both claimed the throne of Macedonia and Thrace. Arsinoe then conspired with her sons to the king. Unfortunately for Arsinoe, two of her sons, Lysimachus and Philip, were killed and the eldest Ptolemy fled to the kingdom of the Dardanians. Arsinoe initially sought refuge in Samothrace. Eventually, she moved on to the city of Alexandria in Egypt. In Egypt, it is believed that she instigated a plot to have the queen sent into exile. She then married the king. Her role as queen was unprecedented for the time and she became the role model for later Ptolemaic queens. Sharing all of the titles with the king, she was quite as influential. She had towns dedicated to her and following the Egyptian custom, she had her own cult. She also had her image struck on coinage and was influential in foreign policy. She was involved with the negotiations after the First Syrian War, where Egypt was victorious over the Seleucid Empire. This war was over the region called Kole Syria. It was of great importance as it was one of the few avenues into Egypt. Queen Arsinoe was instrumental in establishing a peace treaty that benefited the warring kingdoms. According to the historian Posidippus, Queen Arsinoe was quite the sportswoman. She won three chariot races at the Olympic Games. What of the deification of Queen Arsinoe? After her death, the cult of Arsinoe Philadelphus was established. She received burial rites and deification at Mendes, where she acted as priestess. Those rites were commemorated in the Mendes Stile. All temples were then required to install a statue of Queen Arsinoe II alongside the deity of the sanctuary. Separate temples were constructed for Arsinoe. At Memphis and elsewhere, the Fayum region became the Arsinoite Nome, with the queen as its patron goddess. Eventually, the cult was propagated in Alexandria, and a tax on all orchards and vineyards was dedicated to the funding for the cult of Arsinoe. This brings us to the end of Queen Arsinoe, the role model for the Ptolemaic queens. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Traveler's Tales. If you enjoyed this video, please consider becoming a channel sponsor. Your support will enable us to continue producing quality videos and buying me a coffee always makes my day. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon to be notified each time we post new videos. Until we meet again at the crossroads of folklore and fact, Cartistos.